what is going to work in your venue and how to put together, you know, a properly tiered cake that's not going to fall over or collapse in itself or melt or, you know, all the other horrible things that could happen to this beautiful cake that you paid a lot of money for. Um, And they'll also know, like, how to properly prepare the cake so it tastes fresh. Um, So all of those things is something that a professional baker is going to provide you guidance on. And that's why you should hire a professional as opposed to, you know, picking up something from... From right. a grocery store or from a friend. I mean, I know I've heard horror stories about when, you know, friends put cakes together and they for, they don't even know about dowels and they would hold yeah. the cakes together and they've used like cupcakes and, or not cupcakes, toothpicks. <laughs> and, or, I mean, I guess you could use cupcakes. I guess. But, <laughs> you use toothpicks and then the cakes slide off and hit the ground. And yeah. And you really don't want that on your wedding day. No, I mean, there's a reason you should trust a professional for your wedding day and that holds true for your cake as well it may seem like super simple it's just like hey it's you know baking a cake i can do that you know i do that at home for my birthday party but it's it's not the same that's for eight people not 125 yeah exactly it's not the same thing it takes an incredible amount of experience and you know just knowing what to do and how to make these cakes look and not only look great but taste great too yeah and i think that's the art right yeah yeah um, perfect. And then another common question that comes up that you don't necessarily think about when you're going into the appointment is delivery fees. Is that something that you should have the baker do or could you just, you or a bridesmaid or a groomsman go and pick it up? What is your What are your thoughts on that? So I definitely would say if you're not going to have it delivered, it shouldn't be you, right? You have enough things going on that day. A couple so, things, yeah. Um, if you have a small cake, so one tier cake, maybe two tier talk to your baker about it um or you're doing cupcakes or an alternative dessert maybe you could schedule it for a pickup and then i would make sure that you have someone who's really responsible but is not a part of the wedding party um you seem nervous talking about it. i know it makes me nervous talking (laughs) about it somebody who's really really responsible and is not going to forget to go pick up the cake um to go pick it up because you certainly don't want it to be someone in the wedding party because they're going to need to be there for hair and makeup and wedding you know photos same with mom and dad um so someone else that's responsible you could use for that but if it's anything over really a two-tier cake no you have to have it delivered because it could literally collapse in your in your car on the way there and then what well how would you even secure it right and what if you like to to drive fast not that you should you should not (laughs) but a lot of bakers actually when it's a larger tier cake like that they actually transport it separated and then they build it on site Oh, because cool. you don't want it to fall apart right. in a car, right? Like, and so then only so much structure you can give. What if you hit a bump or a pothole? So right. that's kind of thing where it's just it's worth it to pay for the delivery. Quite honestly, it's probably worth it to pay for the delivery anyways because yeah. you don't have to you worry have to about work. the yeah. stress of sending someone to pick it up. Um, but if you're really cutting your budget and you're doing something small or mini desserts or cupcakes. That's something you could do. Just make sure whoever's picking it up has like a clean car, you know. <laughs> they're not like have doesn't have their dog in the back of the car right. when they're picking it up. You know, little things like that.